Halloween in the rearview mirror and November well underway. It is full steam ahead towards the holidays and with the holidays right around the corner, many folks are anticipating the arrival of some wintry weather. Now November has started off unseasonably mild with several days in the 70s and even record warmth with really no signs of any taste of winter. So what can you expect as we head towards the middle of the month of November and also what extremes on both sides of the spectrum does November typically bring? We're going to break down the numbers in this week's edition of the Climate Friday newsletter and talk about the November warmth that we've experienced thus far and also what November can bring in terms of snowfall, hot and cold extremes on both sides of things. If you're not already subscribed, WTOL.com slash email. That is your place to get the latest climate related information each and every week straight to your inbox. So let's break down some of the numbers and talk about this unseasonable warmth that has kicked off the month of November. The work week really brought the warmth to start things off feeling more like springtime than November. Monday's high temperature climbed up to 73 degrees, which was close to a record feeling more like spring to start off the week. Tuesday followed suit with another days that were well into the 70s and our election day temperature was record tying that 76 degree reading tied the all time November 5th high temperature record that was shared between now 2022 and 2024. Two years in recent memory that all brought those mid 70s record tying warmth for Election Day and two years within the last couple that brought those extremely warm temperatures feeling more like springtime even in the first week of November. So looking at the month of November as a whole, let's first of all talk about the mean temperature, which is a factor that includes both the daytime high and the overnight low. The warmest November on record using that metric is 1931 with an average temperature of 49 degrees, which might not sound all that warm, but when you think about the fact that that includes those chilly November nights, certainly well, well above average. 2001 takes the number two spot at 48.5, 1902 at number three. 2020 is a year that we're going to be talking about quite commonly in this Climate Friday newsletter because that is a November that brought some anomalous warmth and including some record high temperatures. 47.3 was the average temperature that month and rounding out the list is 1909. Now another way of looking at it, the warmest November is simply the daytime high temperature. Now of course we really go downhill quickly during the month of November with the early part feeling more like fall and the latter part tending to feel more like winter time. 2001 ranks as the warmest high temperature for the month of November, close to 58 degrees. Now there comes 2020 once again, that was really a stand out in terms of those daytime highs, which averaged 57 degrees. And when you consider the downward trend that November typically brings, that goes to show just how warm it was. Also, several months over 55 degrees include 1931, 1994, and 1999. Now, so far this month, if November was to end today, we would be by far the warmest on record, but we are only about a week or so into the month of November. And based on how things usually pan out, this number is going to drop substantially over the course of the month. That being said, for the first week in November, November to have an average high over 64 degrees, certainly noteworthy, and that is reflected in that record high temperature election day and several other days in the 70s. In fact, three days in the 70s just over the course of this work week. Now, 2020 was a year that we talked about a lot because we did tie for the warmest, not only the daily high, but the monthly warmest November temperature on record, which is shared between a trio of days, each of which logging a high temperature of 80 degrees feeling more like summertime in November. So we'll look at a couple of these warmest November days. November 1st of 1950. Not surprising that that came early on in the month. November 4th of 2003 and November 9th of 2020, which interestingly, that is the latest in the month that we have ever recorded an 80 degree temperature. And that was one of several records during November of 2020. So let's talk about that record stretch, which you may remember very vividly. It included four consecutive Executive record high temperatures from the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th, each of which surpassed the 70 degree mark. November 7th, a bit of a soft record, so to speak, in that the temperature is not overly impressive compared to some of those other days, but 79, 80, and 79 for three consecutive days 
certainly contributed to just how unseasonably warm that month was as a whole. And of course, the 9th, that 80 degree reading ties for the warmest November reading that was ever recorded in Toledo history. Now on the other side of the spectrum, November can often flip just like a switch and go from near summer like warmth to a taste of winter. Now snowfall hasn't really occurred that much in recent memory in November, but it can and it can come in quite a significant amount. 1966 is the snowiest November record that has ever been recorded in Toledo with wow, look at that about a foot and a half of snowfall 1940 over a foot of snowfall one foot on the nose in 1932 1950 and 59 round out that list. Now one thing you'll notice is that all of these occurred in the mid 20th century or earlier and we really haven't had any excessively snowy winters in November's at least in recent memory. In fact, when you look at the top 17 snowiest November's, none of them happened in this century. They all happened prior to the year 2000. So that could perhaps be one of the links to climate change that most of these historically snowy November's happened decades ago in the 20th century and snowy November weather becoming a little bit less commonplace, especially looking at the last couple of years. We only got two tenths of an inch of snowfall last November the year prior a meager four tenths of an inch of snow. You have to go back to 2021 to see any sort of meaningful November snowfall where we recorded 3.8 inches of snow accumulation. Now 2020 is interesting because despite that record stretch and despite that 80 degree reading, there was snow accumulation in the amount of 1.3 inches. 2019 was also a pretty significant winter November in terms of snow with a little over four inches of accumulation. So how does that compare to average? Normally during the month of November, we do see snow accumulation. No, it's not a ton. However, that average of 1.7 is a testament to the fact that winter is right around the corner and both 2021 and 2019 were well above that average mark. So how is climate change impacting November weather? Overall, the data shows us that snowfall and rainfall going down during the month of November. Looking at the latest climate data, which includes a new decade from 1991 to 2020, Compared to the previous decade, which went from 1981 to 2010, we've gone down two tenths of an inch in snowfall. And during the month of December, there's been an even bigger impact due to climate change with almost one inch less of snowfall than there used to be during the month of December. What about precipitation as a whole? This includes both rain and melted snowfall, essentially all liquid that ends up in the rain gauge. Looking at that same climate period and comparing it to a decade prior, November snowfall is down over two tenths and December rainfall is down about a quarter. And again, that's liquid. So we've gone down both in terms of rainfall and snowfall and just overall precipitation in general. And largely that is because November it's getting warmer. That is true not only for Toledo, but also for a good chunk of the United States. In fact, one study of 240 American cities shows that 82% of them have gotten warmer in the last half century over the course of November. One third of those cities have warmed up by over two and a half degrees since 1970. That's a broader period than that last decade that I pointed out, but Toledo has experienced a similar warming trend since the 1970s. So in summary, late fall is turning warmer on average, and that includes both November and December. Keep in mind, we still have over a month left of the autumn season before we officially ring in winter. Both November and December are turning less snowy, and we've seen that trend especially notable in December that has gotten much warmer and about an inch less snowy in the last decade's data. As a whole, there's less precipitation during the late fall time frame, and we're seeing that both in terms of the snowfall and also the rainfall that has been on the decline. Just for fun, since we are full steam ahead towards the holiday season, how far away are some of these holidays? Well, this was recorded Wednesday evening, so if you're watching this on Friday, you can subtract two days from that, but we are nearing the start of winter. Thanksgiving now about three days, three weeks away, and Christmas within 50 days. And the weather is going to change quickly as we round the corner towards the middle of November. As we do head closer towards the holidays and winter, we're going to continue to keep the update in the Climate Friday newsletter. Subscribe at WTOL.com slash email for the latest.